we're gonna show you how to create some teams. We talked about how teams are basically the makeup of your church. Based off where you're called, your specific needs, you have teams to fit those needs. So here's how to create teams and positions. From the main plans page, we can see the different service types at your church. We're gonna hover over the settings gear. We're gonna come right over here to this teams option. Now it's gonna take us to the team settings page and right over here on the right hand corner, we can go ahead and add a team. Now in this case, we're gonna add a tech team. We're gonna go ahead and put tech team. Now right away, you as the creator of this team are gonna be added as a team leader. Now anyone who's doing the scheduling, anybody that oversees that team should be listed as a team leader as well. Now here we have an option for a rehearsal team. This team can access the media player songbooks and song files to prepare for service. Yeah, the tech team probably needs access to that. You think about the your, whoever's running sound, they need to listen to the music. Whoever's running the slides needs to see that. So we're gonna make this a rehearsal team. Split team, if you have multiple service times, which we do, and schedule different people to each time, make this a split team. Well, my tech team serves at both services, so I don't need to uh, set it up as a split team because it's the same people that serve at my 9 a.m. and the same people that serve at 10.30 a.m., similar to my band, so I'm not gonna set the, that up as a split team. Go ahead and hit submit, and perfect. I've created my team. Now let's go ahead and add some positions within that team because people are scheduled to positions within a team. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and hit add a position. We're gonna add a tech director. And this is gonna look different for your church based off of your needs. So I'm just gonna add a few. And let's add one more lights. Oh, we can't forget that computer. So we'll go ahead and put computer. Awesome, so now we've created some positions within the tech team. Now let's go ahead and assign some people, people that are able to fill those roles. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the tech director. We're gonna add a person. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and add Ashley Johnson. And so now she is assigned to that tech director position. And now we're gonna go ahead and add for audio, we're gonna go ahead and add Tyrone. Perfect. And for the computer, we're gonna go ahead and add Jenna. Awesome, we've now assigned a few people. And so now we're gonna come right back here to the plans page. And that is how you create a team. Now, we're gonna go ahead and jump on over and show you how to create a split team. So here's how to create a split team. From the main plans page, we're gonna come right over here back to settings and we're gonna select teams. Now from here, you can see any teams you've already created or that exist in the service type, we're gonna select add team. Now in this case, we're gonna go ahead and add first impressions. And team leaders, you as the creator of the team are automatically gonna be added as a team leader, but again, anybody who uh, schedules or oversees this team should be listed as a team leader. Now first impressions, uh, do they need to be a rehearsal team? Well, this team can access media player, songbooks, song files, and other rehearsal features. The first impressions team doesn't really need that, so we're gonna leave that unchecked. Split teams, if you have multiple service times and schedule different people uh, to each time, make it a split team. In this case, yes, I have a different pool of volunteers for my 9 a.m. service and a different pool for my 10.30 a.m. service. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that as a split team. So in that case, I don't have to create a 9 a.m. first impressions and 10.30. I can just have one team that's split between the two times. So that's what I have there. I'm gonna go ahead and split it. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple positions. So in this case, we'll go ahead and put greeter. We're gonna go ahead and add guest services. And we're gonna go ahead and add parking. Now let's go ahead and assign some people to those teams. So for Greeter, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add myself. Guest services, we're gonna go ahead and add Brandon Berg. And parking, we're gonna go ahead and add Jacob Tilly. Perfect, we've now assigned some people and that is how you can create a split team.